Ladies and gentlemen, you will be availed of the opportunity of putting questions to the speaker later. Ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Cunningham, who is now fondly known as Brother Jalaluddin, will address you, whereafter he will introduce the next speaker. Assalamu alaikum. Before I start saying what I have to say, if anybody wants refreshments, they're on my right at the back, they are available to you. Alhamdulillah, that means all praise is due to Allah. I am a revert. You may wonder what that is. Every child is born a Muslim. According to our Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Every child born is born a Muslim. And so, I too was born a Muslim. But sadly, my folks, my parents, who didn't know any better, taught me the faith of their fathers. They taught me Christianity. And I came to love the church that I belong to. I came to respect them. And I was raised up a Christian. And all my life, I cherished the thought that one day, I would pray and work for the church. I would become a priest. I worked hard. I studied hard. And I eventually did go to Rome. But as a young cleric, as a young seminarian, you question a great deal. You learn a lot of dogmas. You learn a lot of philosophies. And I began to question all the time about the oneness of God the creator of this universe. But I still did not get enough information. I sometimes was a little bit of a headache to my professors, but alhamdulillah, they put up with me. On my return, after my ordination to the diaconate, I came back to South Africa, and one of my dearest friends was not at the airport to meet me. I was a little surprised and naturally disappointed. And when I arrived at the airport, my parents said they hadn't seen this fellow. His name was Carl. He was also going to become a priest in the Catholic Church. So I went around to see him. And he told me that he and I could no longer be friends. So I said, what's preventing you, be, you and I becoming friends or p remaining friends? He said, well, I'm no longer a Catholic. I said, fine, if you're no longer a Catholic, that shouldn't prevent us from bringing friends. But if you're no longer a Catholic, what are you? He said, I'm a Muslim. I was stunned. I said, a Muslim? They're heathens. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in Christ. Peace be upon him. He said he wasn't prepared to fight with me. He wasn't prepared to argue with me. He said, go along to the people who have taught me. Islam and talk to them. So I said, who's done this to you? He said, Ahmed did that. I said, that does it. I've had enough of this man. I'm going to see him. Which I did. Mr. Didat and Mr. Vanka and Mr. Khan were in the office in Madras Arcade and I went along. But it was an encounter of the Didat kind. I hadn't anticipated such a man. And within a short period of time, he proved to me, step by step, that there isn't a trinity. He revealed to me the simplicity and beauty of Allah's word in the Holy Quran. And eventually one Juma, one Friday, which is our congregational day, I was a reciter of La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, which means there is no object worthy of worship except Allah, and Muhammad وسلم, is the messenger of Allah. It's very difficult when one becomes a revert and to get back to the revert, very often we, f we imagine or we think that people are converts. Nobody converts to Islam. I said originally, everyone is born Muslim. We just go off the Surat al-Mustaqim. We go off the straight path. So. I reverted 
back onto the path of Islam. It was difficult, very, very, very difficult. The community I had left were not too happy with me. My family persecuted me. But it's understood. I think if I had a son or a daughter and they were to revert to another religion or convert other than, uh, to another religion other than Islam, I would naturally be upset. But Alhamdulillah, I found a new life in Canada. I went to live in Canada for a time and started a new practice. I had new friends. I had this new religion. But I was destined to come back. But in all this time that I was away, I wasn't practicing this new religion, this Islam. I was a Muslim. I'd recited the Kalima, but I wasn't practicing it. But now, Alhamdulillah, I'm a five-time Namazi. That means I make my Salah five times a day. And I'm full-time with the Islamic Propagation Center. I'm a missionary for Islam.